From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched me and supported me. Reaching the 100,000 subscribers milestone is really surreal in this short time. As a little giveaway I made this illustrator file that contains all the vector designs from the previous tutorials, you are free to grab it from the link in the description. Ok, in today's tutorial, I will show you a clever way to make negative space logos. I will walk you through the same process that I took to make two logo designs, that you have probably seen it before, in my Dribble portfolio. Have a nice watching before we begin, I want to say thank you to Squarespace for supporting my video. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace. If you are following me on Dribble, you probably know the Startease logo that I made a while ago. In today's tutorial we will recreate it as an example of a negative space logo. You can see the spreading T's, and the negative space between it, forms a star shape. Press Ctrl R to activate the ruler. Drag a horizontal guide here. And then drag a vertical one from here. We will use this intersection to find out the center of the star. Select the star tool. Hold Alt and Shift, click on the intersection of the two guides and drag to make a star. To make sure that this point is the center of the star, select the Ellipse tool. Hold Alt and Shift. Click here and drag until the circle touch all the edges of the star. Ok, you can see the t-shirts are spreading, and the star, is the negative space. Every corner in the star should be a part of a t-shirt, And we have 5 corners in the star so, I will make one t-shirt then I will duplicate it. Always make sure to activate the smart guides. You can do that by pressing Ctrl U. With the pen tool, I will start from this point and draw a t-shirt. It doesn't have to be a t-shirt, you can choose another shape and do it the same way. With the direct selection tool, I adjust my points to make it look better. I'm trying to make the t-shirt more balanced, and give it the spreading feel. Select the shirt, and with the eyedropper give it the yellow color. With the pen tool, click here and drag left. Then click here and drag right, then close the shape. Hold shift and click on the shirt to select it, and with the shape builder, hold out and click on the external part to remove it. Select the neck part, go to the transparency panel, and change the color mode to multiply. Select the star in the circle. Go to Object, Lock, and click on Selection. Select the T-shirt, and then select the Rotate tool. Reposition the reference point to the center of the circle. Hold Alt and rotate the T-shirt until it fits into the next corner of the star.
while the t-shirt still selected repeat pressing ctrl d to automatically do the same process to the other corners of the star. Ok, we finished making all the t's with the negative space star inside. Select everything and drag it aside. I'll make it a little smaller. Then right click, and hide the guides. Go to object and click on unlock all, and delete the star and the circle. Now I am going to color my design. I'll select this t-shirt, and with the eyedropper, I give it the green color. Please note, these color circles are basic circles made with the ellipse tool and manually I change their colors. Go through all the t-shirts and give it different colors. Select the neck and with the eyedropper, give it the green color, and from transparency panel, change the color mode to multiply. Repeat the same process for all the t-shirts. Select everything, and make it a little bigger. Select all the t-shirts without selecting the neck parts. Press Ctrl C to copy it. Then select everything, and press Ctrl F, to paste it in front. Change the fill color to the basic gradient. And from the transparency panel, change the color mode to soft light, that gives all the colors a gradient effect. And this is pretty much our Star T's negative space logo. Another shot from my Dribble account is this medical logo. You can see the negative space cross shape, surrounded by this smooth shapes. We will recreate it to understand more how I make these type of designs. With the rectangle tool, I will make a square. Then I'll hold Alt and duplicate it four times to make a cross icon. Select everything, and from the Pathfinder, click on Unite. Make the fill empty, and set the stroke color to black. The cross will be the negative space, and each one of the elements surrounding should be a part of the cross. So I have to make this part of the cross, a part of the element surrounding it, and then I will duplicate it three times like we did with the t-shirts. Select everything, go to object, lock, and click on selection. With the rectangle tool, hold shift and click in this corner and make a square, like this. With the eyedropper, I give it this gradient color. Hold alt and drag it up here. Then hold alt and drag it right here to fit the line that I traced. Hold shift and select the two left squares together, go to the pathfinder, and click unite. With the direct selection tool, select this point, and drag the live widget, to make it rounded. If you don't have this feature, check the how to round corners tutorial. With the pen tool, click here and drag up to the middle, then click here and drag to the right, Click on this anchor point, and then close the shape. Select the new created shape with the left shape, and from the pathfinder, click on Unite. Delete this square, select this shape, press Ctrl C to copy it, and press Ctrl F to paste it in front. Go to Object, Transform, and click on reflect, with the vertical option selected, press OK. 
hold shift and rotate it by 90 degrees. With the gradient tool, I adjust the gradient, so the darker color will be under the front shape. I select the front shape and I make the darker color start from the right side. From the gradient panel, I click on the dark color stop, then I decrease the opacity to 60%. Make a square in the center of the cross icon. Select all the shape, then select the rotate tool, then reposition the reference point to the center of the square. Hold Alt and rotate the shape to the right by 90 degrees. Then press Ctrl D twice to repeat the same action twice. Delete the middle square. Select everything, I'll make it a little bit smaller and drag it to left. Go to object, and then click on unlock all, and then take off the cross guide and the line. And this is our negative space medical logo. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to get exposure and show your work to the world, you can quickly and easily start your own online portfolio website with Squarespace. You don't need any previous coding or web design experience, you will simply use one of their many great templates and customize it as you want. Visit the link in the description to get 10% off with your first order. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to activate the notification bell, to get notified about every new video. You can write your tutorial suggestion in the community section. Thank you again and see you in another video.